last day, so just nearing Lukla, uh, not far to go. It's been a final slog of a day. Um, I've done this trek three times and this hill to Lukla never gets any easier, uh, but not far to go. So it's been an amazing week, it's really flown by and just wanted to reflect on, on the week I've had because back home we get so little time to think about things that we just become like robots and keep doing things over and over and as I've learned this last week having time just to think about things is actually pretty amazing um, I mean what I've noticed a lot in tea houses is people just sat there on smartphones not really talking to each other and I know all my friends will be pointing at the screen now saying you hypocrite because that's what I do most of the time um, but out here you don't have much choice and uh, I think people have been asking really why I've been coming out here and uh, I guess really the last time I was here was two and a half years ago for Everest 2015 and the only memories I have are of the earthquake, the avalanche, the disaster uh, 20 people sadly dying at base camp, three of our own team and just seeing a beautiful place just absolutely devastated so I guess I wanted to come out and just put those memories to bed, create new ones see all these amazing places and see all the friends I have out here because it's been amazing to see all the Sherpas again. I mean, they are the most amazing people, as amazing as ever. And they treat you like family, you know, to see them. And they've been giving me free cheese and toast and cookies and cakes and biscuits and coffee, milk tea, you name it. And they never expect anything for it. And when they have so little, but they give so much, um, it always makes me feel better. But I've been talking a lot about mental health and about being outside. And uh, this week, I've not had any problems with self you know self-esteem low mood eating problems and that just shows how powerful the outdoors is and why all of us should be outside more often and i'll keep banging on about it and everybody says well you're so lucky you get to come out here i mean it's my fifth time in nepal and i'm very lucky to be here but i do think that we create our own choices you know we are who we are and uh, we all can do more to be outside more often uh, we all have our own everest at this time, it's been so strange being out here without an expedition, without a team to go and climb a big mountain. It's actually been amazing. And I never thought all those years ago that I'd be coming out here on my own at 22, doing my own thing. But having that space, having that freedom has been incredible. And it just shows how far this journey's gone. Now, even though I've never really got to climb Everest, at least not yet, uh, it's given me so much more. You know, it's given me a place that's very, very close to me, very special. And I'll keep coming back and coming back more and more times but also Everest has become something so much bigger you know we all have our calling and I don't want to be known for just climbing a mountain in Nepal I want to be known for inspiring other people to overcome their challenges whatever they may be and so being out here has given me time to think on more ideas more challenges more ways I can inspire people so for 2018 it's probably going to be my biggest one yet but right now I need to get back to Kathmandu. It's going to get dark soon, so I better get, get up this hill. Uh, but what an amazing day. What an amazing place. And uh, 2018 is probably going to be even bigger.